You may already know about search editors in VS Code. These provide an alternative view of search results, showing them in a normal editor, which provides more space to view and interact with the results. Now to create a new search editor, all I have to do is open the command palette with Control Shift P or Command Shift P and say search editor. And I want the search editor, new search editor command here. And then I can go and search for something. So I'll do deprecated, search for that in the code base. And you can see that all of the search results are now being displayed in a full width editor. So we can view a lot more context than we'd have over in the sidebar on the left side there. Now, one of the cool features of search editors, though, is that you can actually save the search file into your code base. Now, this is useful, for example, if you're working on a shared project and you have some work in progress items, for example, tracking where you're using deprecated code in the code base. Anybody on the team that clones the repository will be able to open the search file and just see all of the places where you are using deprecated code. You can also save off common queries. So if you have some queries that you're performing all the time and you want to keep monitoring the status of those queries, you can just save those off as well so you can quickly reopen them. To save the search editor here, I'm just going to use the normal save keyboard shortcut. So Control S or Command S. And I'm going to save it as, let's save it as deprecated here. And we'll save it as a .code search file. And you can see that this editor has now been renamed. And if I actually go and then close this and then open quick open with Control P or Command P and search deprecated, you can see that deprecated code search is being found. So that is just a normal file in our workspace now. And when I reopen it, you can see that the same search results have been restored. Now, if we had changed settings such as using regular expressions or case sensitivity or even the context for the search results, it would actually save that off as well. And it is actually going and performing this search again. So if we went and added a, um, another deprecated tag or removed a deprecated tag, when we go and we open this file, it would go and perform that search again. So this would always display the live results. Again, the really cool part of this is that you can actually check this search file in so that anybody who clones your repository can perform this exact same search. It can be especially helpful for tracking shared work across a team.